This time, it's over for me. Printers was ransacked. I barely escaped from the guards sent to arrest me. I must disappear and hope that things will one day turn to my advantage. In truth, the timing is excellent. According to my informants, the king is planning a coup de force against the Third Estate. I think it's high time for all of us to go underground with you. Once we're hidden in the catacombs, we can prepare a counter-offensive in peace. Does the Duke approve of this withdrawal? No, oh, that fool. He's indecisive as usual. Always busy dreaming about his cousin's crown. But I've prepared the terrain. He will let me do as I please as long as I serve his interests. Look at them, parading around like peacocks. These scoundrels, rotten to their very core. See how they proudly display their vices and shameful privileges. Tirelessly working to drag morality through the mud, trampling love itself. The Queen is said to have read your liaison before her husband banned it. It's hilarious, isn't it? I'm not surprised. No matter how hard I worked to denounce their immoral practices, the aristocrats saw my novel as nothing more than a light-hearted bit of fluff. How naive I was to imagine that my pen could slice away the gangrene of their debauchery. Well, fortunately, you have more than one string to your bow, mon capitaine. Monsieur Laclos was the Duc d'Orléans' faithful retainer. He was to prepare the way for his takeover, and now he has become one of the king's most bloodthirsty automats. How ironic.